salvation. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20 says, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you are bought with a price? Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So, it's not how much of the Holy Spirit you have, because you got all the Holy Spirit. It's how much of the Holy Spirit does, has you, right? How much are you yielded to the Spirit of God that's already indwelling inside of you? At the moment of salvation, the Bible says the Holy Spirit of God sets up in your heart as the Spirit of Christ in your life. The Holy Spirit of God indwells every single, single believer in Jesus Christ. He becomes a resident in your home, and I love that. Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? He, he's saying, listen, no more am I dwelling in buildings and as a sense like uh, Tommy was saying, when you come together with God's people, you can sense the presence of the Lord, and you can sense the presence of the Holy Spirit. But even here, he says, for you, not just in the temple, and not just buildings made by hand, but by where? In your heart. That, that the Holy Spirit of God now indwells you in your heart, and He is in your life, and at the moment of salvation, He indwells you. Man, what a work of the Holy Spirit. Never to leave you. Never for, to forsake you, to comfort you, to guide you, to give you wisdom, to be there when, when you need peace and all those other things. But also